Hi, my name is Scott Tagawa. I'm a medical oncologist from Weill Cornell Medicine, New York Presbyterian Hospital, Meyer Cancer Center. ASCO 2024, we are presenting the mature results of a phase one, two study of escalated doses in a fractionated cycle of lutetium PSMA 617 uh, for patients with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer after prior therapy. I think most people are familiar now with PSMA as a cell surface target that is overexpressed in the majority, but not all, of tumors with, uh, uh, with castration resistance. Uh, this study uh, started in 2017, was the first and still predominantly only uh, dose escalation study, meaning giving higher injected activities of lutetium PSMA 617, and we use the same uh, fractionated dose pattern that we have used uh, with other uh, radiolabeled compounds, meaning a single cycle administered half on day one, half two weeks later on day 15. Uh, these patients had PSMA imaging, but were not pre-selected by PSMA imaging. And the bottom line results is during phase one, which was presented uh, previously at ESMO, there were no DLTs. So we went up to 22.2 gigabeckler, or um, 600 millicurie per, per fractionated cycle, half and half on you know two weeks apart. And then we expanded that uh, top court to the phase two study. And overall combined, uh, despite no selection um, by PSMA, there was uh, the majority had uh, PSA decline with 54% having at least a PSA 50. Um, and then versus kind of historical controls uh, with vision and other studies, looked interesting in terms of RPFS, not randomized at 8.3 months in an oral survival of about 17 and a half months. Um, so interesting results. Uh, we explored some biomarkers um, with uh, circulating tumor DNA. Uh, it appeared that there were um, some prognostic characteristics with um, AR amplification. Uh, as well as um, allele-specific sp uh, ploidy, uh, but those remain exploratory. Um, a similar but not exactly the same fractionated regimen is now being um, looked at in the Stampede 2 study in an earlier patient population. So in summary, um, this uh, first dose escalation study um, was able to escalate to 22.2 gigabecquerels in a single cycle uh, without DLTs. Um, there were a number of low-grade toxicities like xerostomia, but um, uh, very few high-grade toxicities. Um, and the fractionated dose or dose-dense um, regimen that was designed to um, circumvent resistance uh, looks interesting in terms of efficacy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onkadaily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.